Now let's talk about multitasking and more specifically multitasking button on the iPad. Because, uh, yeah, you probably want to get that, but there are a couple of things which you could mean by that. Because, of course, you may mean the new stage manager. So, so if you swipe down here in the control center, you can see that I have this icon, which is like a multitasking thing. It's the stage manager feature. When I enable it, uh, it just the iPad starts to behave differently. And no matter what I do, I just can open up any app. And now I'm in the stage manager where I have some icons here on the left side so for example i have the notion here i can switch back in here i can come back to photos and i can switch in between the apps as much as i want to and yes it's really simple to do and this is what what stage manager actually is but this feature is also not available in every single version of ios and for every ipad so you need to be running the latest ipad os 16 and uh, the latest version of that preferably and also only the ipad pro and ipad air actually supported so if you have an ipad air you need to have at least the fifth generation if you have the ipad pro 11 inch like this one you need to have at least the first gen so you would be okay with that and for the ipad pro 12 inch then uh, for that you're gonna need uh, at least the third generation so it's uh, tied to a specific ipad series as well as the ipad os and in that case it's going to work so this is how you can get technically the multitasking button but as you can see here there are also the three dots in here so if i zoom it in this is also another type of multitasking in here so if i tap on it you can see that i can choose uh, like different stuff, but I'm still here in uh, the uh, stage manager. So if I'm gonna leave it like this, so I'm gonna click on here, click close. I'm gonna come back and let's open up the App Store, for example. So I'm gonna like turn off the uh, stage manager. I'm in uh, the App Store, and the three dots up here are just still here. And this can also be considered to be a multitasking button because when you tap on it, you can choose it to go to the oh, one side, the split view, or to the slide over window. So for example, you can go to this split view and now tap on something else. Let's say it's going to be music. And now you are here in you know, the split screen view and you have the apps in here. And this is also, for example, the multitasking button, which you can grab and like make it go around and stuff. So yeah, the possibilities are there, but this is a button that cannot even go away. So it's going to be there no matter what. If your iPad supports it, it's going to be there. If not, then you simply will not be able to see this. So the three dots are something which, which people actually kind of like uh, complained about because you cannot get rid of it. I don't think that it's that annoying, but you cannot actually make it go away. You, you, there is oh, it's always just there. But this allows you to use it in the uh, for the multitasking uh, purposes. So this is also a multitasking button. And yes, hope this video helped you out. These are all the things that I think you should know about multitasking and using the buttons for it. So yeah, if this video helped you out, check out the next one about the iPad, more specifically how to check the battery uh, health on the iPad. So go ahead and check it out. And yeah, you're going to find out how it works.